Good morning and welcome in for another video. And today's deliveries is free down the London area. I've got one, it's class as Kent, it's saying on the paperwork, class as Swanley, but it's in the M25 Ring Road. Is that still class as Kent? The second job is in Wallingham, and the third one is just as London NW10. I've just checked Google Maps and the NW10 one is Wimbledon, so I thought it was quite centre of London, but not too close as what it was the other day. This morning was a 4am start, I've had to collect the unit from Haydock and then drive from Haydock to Ashton Hub, get loaded and then I can start going to London. And my first drop is 232 miles away, due to get there for around 10 o'clock, might be a little bit later, probably half past 10 because of traffic and then I need to take a break as well, so you're probably looking at about half past 11 realistically and it's 10 to 5 at the moment. Time is now 10 past 6 and I'm on the M6 southbound. Uh, I've had to stop over and get some fuel and got some services. But look at the sky here now to the left hand side. It's so nice this morning, the sunrise. You can't really see it properly, but on the left hand side, just off the shot of the camera. Oh, it's beautiful. Loads of oranges, pinks, purples, blues, yellows all mixed in together, a bit like a water painting to be honest with you. <laughs> but you can see a little bit in the sky at the moment, up above. It's really cool. That's one of the bonuses about being a driver. Especially when you start really early in the morning. You get to see like the sunrise or the sunset. Where a lot of people are still in bed at this time in the morning. And they miss it all, don't they? And it makes it worth getting up nice and early just so you can see it all. Coming up now to Hilton Park Services, just on the outskirts of Birmingham. I'm 162 miles away from the first drop still. Still showing to get there for half past 10, and it's currently 10 to seven at the moment. I've still got three and a half hours at least driving. <laughs> still on time that really, isn't it? I've been driving for over an hour and a half just to get here now. And so far this is the first bit of traffic by the looks of it. So I might be coming to a bit of a standstill in a minute. Coming up. No one does get quite busy around the Wolverhampton Junction just after here. Hopefully though throughout the whole of Birmingham, hopefully it won't be too bad but with the time it is now it's right in the middle of rush hour isn't it so it could be pretty heavy around here that rattling noise coming from over the passenger way, I don't know what it is I jinx myself. That's right. Um, I think I'm, I'm waiting after this junction's cleared out of the way, then I'll move over. But I'll try and leave that left hand side lane a little bit free so people can get onto the motorway. Ah, oh, there we go. I've jinxed myself, haven't I? I knew it was going to get busy around here anyway this time of day. The only way to avoid it really is actually starting at 3 o'clock in the morning as it showed on Monday. Go straight through here with no problems. I think it was about half past five last time on Monday, wasn't it, when I came through here? Big difference from Monday to now. It's look quite a nice day today at the moment. Hopefully it stays like this for the rest of the week. Roll on the summer, I keep saying, because yesterday was absolutely awful with the rain, wasn't it? It was really, really bad. Really bad weather. It's been a bit of a change of plan as well for my route today. 
So instead of going to my first job as originally planned, the second job closed at 12 o'clock. So it's going to be a little bit tight for the delivery time, making it before 12, because I still need to take my break. So I'm going to my second job first, hopefully they can take it off okay, no issues. And then I need to secure the load so it doesn't tip over when I break or anything. So number job one or two, I'll be switched around for this. So to get to that job is 71 miles away at the moment. And I'm looking at a two hour drive still. I've currently got 53 minutes driving time remaining. So I need to take a break within the next hour. There's a couple of service stations coming up anyway before I get onto the M25 Ring Road. So I'm gonna take a break there. This place, I have delivered to it once before. And when I went there for the first time, it was an absolute nightmare to try and get in. It's the previous video where I delivered to a South London farm. Um, it's not the farmyard itself I'm delivering to, but the farm on its premises has several different units working out of their property. So as you can imagine, the road's access to get there is not very great. And it's always a headache to get there. So when I was there last time, I spoke to a driver who was there already. Got a bit of advice off him and he says, you want to take one of the other junctions, then you drop down instead of trying to come up. Because when you're coming up, you're going up like a little hill. It's just very, very narrow, literally the width of this lane that I'm in. And you got cars and everything all getting stuck in your way. <laughs> it's just not fun, it's really not. So I've re-planned it to try and drop down to the place. Hopefully it'll work out as planned. But I'll know that when I get there. So with my break and everything included, I'll be getting there for about half past 11 anyway. How nice does the scenery look here at the moment with the sun beaming down? It's really nice. So the second job I'm going to, that's the one which is near Dartford bridge so it's just off the m25 bit which is still classed as kent i do believe let's try and get into the middle lane thank you very much just about to pull up now on the services and is it beaconsfield yeah beaconsfield services just off the m40 it's not a bad little service station, it's quite busy. Car park isn't the best for trucks, but it's plenty for cars. Got lots of different food there as well, like chopsticks, Leon, Greg's, Pizza Express. There's plenty there if you want something to eat, good little range. Not for me at home on ham sandwiches today. Try and save a few pennies. Okay, that's never a good sign, is it, when you get trucks parking up over here? Um, some spaces out there. I've got 32 minutes left on my driving time. So that guy on the left hand side just dumped their truck there. I mean, there's plenty of spaces. It's not too bad. I'll go around and then drive straight through. 
another bay to get to at the front. There's two of them I have seen. But no, no. I should be able to get the swing around here for this one. There we go, nicely in. No reversing, no messing about. To get it slotted in. And I can go straight out then when I need to. I'm at a place currently just on the outskirts of Wallingham, I think it is. Near Croydon. So I'm on the way towards Croydon, that's to go straight ahead. Uh, I'm not really getting in the left hand lane because there's loads of bus lanes. So for the past like a mile and a bit, it's been about 200 yards of the left lane, then it merges back into this lane. So I'm just going to sit in this one for a bit longer. And that's merged the giveaway now this time. I'm trying to find a sign actually to see whereabouts it actually am. <laughs> Nice little Tudor houses there on the left, they're good. I think these are them ULES cameras, aren't they, what people have been attacking? <laughs> been cutting them down, haven't they, lately in London? I've seen loads on TikTok where they've been climbing top of the poles and then getting angle grinders on them and stuff. I think a lot of people are against the ULES, which I don't really blame them, to be honest with you, because it is just another way to tax the people, really, isn't it? Not to get into politics, I don't know why. And straight up this way still. So that's a 14 6 bridge. We go to the right. And 1410 with this trailer on. But this way is a lot better than the first time I went to this destination. Absolute nightmare it was honestly. Tiny, tiny little roads. Well, at least this way, quite big. A little bit more busier, but I don't mind if it's like this. It's all right, it's manageable. If you ever do drive around London area, especially the HGVs, just keep an eye out for these bikers, as you can see. It's like they got a rule of their own when they come to driving. Just drive head on <laughs> traffic. Quite close actually with that van. I mean, have a little bit of patience. Just wait until it's a bit clearing. And then start overtaking. They'll make it a lot safer for you. There's no point putting your life at risk, is there? So get ahead of two cars. It's called Pearly, where I'm at at the moment. It's not a bad little place. Just now I had a little bit of a crash there with this little Uber Eats driver and the guy on the trailer. The Uber Eats driver tried to just cut around him when he was pulling out, as you do. I need to go for the A23 this way. It's not like I'm saying A23, but tell him to go down the A22 on the with the road markings are. Hmm. Hopefully, I'm going the right direction. Looks like it on the sat nav. So, like doing a bit of a advertisement there for something, filming. There's another bike you're coming up. I 
don't believe, well, I do believe, sure say actually, we don't get charged for coming into these ultra low emission zones in this truck because it's a Euro 6 truck. Now, I could be wrong, there might be a smaller charge, but I thought, well, what I believe anyway is like Euro 6 ones, you don't actually get a charge for it because it's like ultra low emissions on Euro 6 trucks. A um, little bit of a tight one here by the looks of it. So I'm going to take up both lanes. Obviously this car didn't get the memo. And I'm going left, bit where that truck's come from. On the sat nav it does look like quite a tight turning. So I've got to keep an eye out on left and right sides, make sure no little mopeds come flying past. Monday Friday, midnight, 7 a.m., 18 to 1, okay, I'm all right at the moment. So I can come up this way, because it's only from midnight to 7 p.m. or 8, sorry, midnight to 8 a.m., I think it was. It's an 18 ton limit. I hope I read it right. <laughs> if not, oh well. Now this is where the roads go start getting a little bit smaller. That removal van to stay in there, isn't it? Yeah. You've got science for days around here. Eh? I wouldn't really be expecting to see a deer around this part of London. You never know. Umping up though, a little bit in between all of these housing estates. It's a couple of fields. I don't know if it's a farm field or anything, or just a bit of nature green area. Whilst you're driving in London as well, just make sure you give yourself plenty of room with these boxes. Now, I probably could try to squeeze it in behind that silver car, but however. If the back of my trailer is hanging over by even a foot into this yellow box, you can get a fine. They're really on top of it in London. So, I know you shouldn't be entering the box anyway, but make sure before you do commit, there is plenty of space for your trailer to get across as well. All right, just keeping on, trying to sneak past this bus. Perfect. So nobody's gonna pop out. No, good to go. Four and a half miles to go. Should be there in 15 minutes. So we'll be getting there for quarter to 12 as it stands and the business closes at 12. And I don't think they're gonna be happy that I'm gonna be delivering how many is there? Seven pallets, it's not too bad. So they've got seven pallets to accept the delivery 15 minutes before the close. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the goods in will be too happy with that. Around quarter of a mile away I'm now. And that way to come here was so much better than last time. 100% better. I can't believe how much better it was. Last time I came to this delivery, I was going through tiny little villages, roads narrower than what this is now. It's absolutely crazy it was. And I turned left down that road to come back home. Well, to go back towards the motorway. Should not have done that either because that is just really, really narrow as well. Yep, they're giving way for me, perfect. Now the van's coming down though. 
it was literally like this for about 20 miles last time but without the, the passing lanes it's absolutely crazy and the place I'm delivering to should be 150 yards on the left yeah there he is So if you ever deliver to this place folks, don't ever come from that way where the van is now. <laughs> As you can see how narrow that is. <laughs> Perfect. Aim towards Croydon and then work your way down. And time is now quarter two. So I've made it here just in time I don't know where the unit is now as well this time around so it's, it's all right I hate them little speed bumps. I've got to take this wide and then cut the corner. Make sure your trailer doesn't cut it. Let's go slow. What's her 12 arrival? I left the yard this morning to start coming down here for around five o'clock. Some time that, isn't it? Right, and it's just um, here on the right hand side. Is there any space to turn around? Because it was a bit tight last time. Still a little bit tight at the moment. Should be able to get a spin on it though. I'm going to turn around first. Job number two, 16 miles away, and it's just off the M25 Ring Road near Dartford, and it's around 50 minutes drive with traffic. Only five minutes to take seven pallets off, whipped them, both sides, done. Now, let's get on to the next one. Oh no. <laughs> um, I might be okay getting past there. Luckily there's a little bit of a, a passing spot just there, it's good. Don't really want to scratch all the paintwork either on the bushes. Perfect. Okay, there you go, wait. Yes they are. Not a lot of options unfortunately. Thank you very much, thank you. Up down and get out of this road. Let's get back to the big roads. There we go. Oh, this is not ideal. What's going on? Is it a rolling roadblock? Don't know what's happening here at the moment, it's a bit odd. Trying to tuck myself in out of the way. Something's definitely going on, isn't it? 
there was a car behind me as well trying to get past me. But then he's tucked himself back in. What is going on here? Okay, what is in there? What building's that? The Warren. Metropolitan Police Sports Club. What? The Met Police have a sports club? What? I've seen it all now. What the hell is that about? <laughs> is Prime Minister going to the... Into the sports club or something. God knows. That's job number two completed, and now I've only got one more job. But the other problem is, it's on the other side of London. A lot of police and fire engines going around London today <laughs> because I've got no weight on it. I've only got about a ton between the two pallets what are left on. I'm raising up the middle axle because I don't need to distribute the weight anymore. It's too light for it, so I might as well save the wear and tear of the tyre. Instead of having it down running when you don't need it. Just joining on the M25 now. It's currently half past one at the moment. And three jobs are down, one left to go. I've got to go over the Dartford tunnel, well, underneath the water, the Thames, whichever one it is. <laughs> go through the Dartford tunnel. And then, I don't know if I'm going to carry on the round the M25 cut down or cut through. I'm thinking, might be more miles, but it's probably worth staying on the actual M25 ring road and then cutting back down, quite possibly. Otherwise, I'm going to be going through Tottenham and stuff. Uh, yeah, it's at the bottom of the M1, not too far from there. I mean... Just try and weigh it up at the moment, but I probably should have done that before I left. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah, M25 ring road, jump down. I think that'll probably be easy. If it's like this all the way around the M25, I'll we'll go doing 56 miles per hour all the way around. It's not too bad. Whereas if we go through London itself, it's going to be a lot of stop start, isn't there? Entering the Dartford Tunnel now, folks. If you've been here before, it's a toll bridge that you just pay online. They southbound, you got the massive bridge. Northbound, you got the tunnel. I'm not too sure why they've done it this way instead of just extending the bridge out when they first built it. Would have made more sense, really. Or tunnels, whichever one was first, really. And I'm not too sure how long it is as well. It's about a mile or so. Feels like a mile anyway when you're inside it. Yeah, one mile. That's a good, uh, good guess. Just says up there on the top. East Tunnel, length one mile. God, I would hate to have a breakdown in the tunnel, wouldn't you? So once you get a blowout or anything down here. After there was a big accident and you're stuck here for a few hours underground, oh my word, couldn't think of anything worse. I'm not claustrophobic or anything, but still, wouldn't it be good, would it? This part of London where I'm driving through at the moment, it's right at the bottom of the M1 and the lanes are quite narrow considering you have trucks driving down here and buses and there's lots of bends in the road as well so it's been a little bit keeping you on your guard really because cars are just flying around everywhere like bloody wacky racers you know I had a, one crash into the bus a minute ago when the bus was trying to pull out <laughs> it's bloody crazy honestly it's absolutely chaos this part really is definitely need lights on this junction anyway oh 
out. Look at that for a junction. <laughs> driving around London this part anyway it's been all right all day it's just around this Wembley area it's absolutely chaos yeah it just seems to be around the Wembley area it's just a lot worse drivers all right the A460 that's what I'm looking for self storage unit places up here as well on the left hand side if I remember correctly where it's got a jet in the window I think it might be somewhere else oh well <laughs> all looks the same no I was right I was right <laughs> he's here this Vanguard self storage place on the right hand side it looks so cool I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick it up but it's like a jet just on that little glass window section it looks awesome it's probably a replica or anything but who knows People like to collect some random things, don't they? Put them on display at the workplace. Traffic is just going horrendous as well, coming up towards this last place. I'm half a mile away from it. Going to sat now for three minutes. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be three minutes away. <laughs> Something's telling me otherwise. I've got 40 minutes driving time left before I need to take a break to extend it. So it's a 45 minute break at the end minimum. So I can extend it to drive for another one hour. And then I'll probably have about an hour and a half or so just to drive far up north as I can. I'm going to aim up the M1 and I'm going to aim for, I think it's Tonnington Services by Luton. They're not bad services, got quite good facilities, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully I can make it up that far for it. I'm not gonna lie, I was dreading delivering to this place because where it is in the middle of London on a busy road and the unit is right down the end. That's where I would have had to reverse right down to the end and going off this small road onto that little gate, which is an 18 tonne limit anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the road as well, so yeah, uh, legend came out instead. Now, one of the problems I've got right now is that I need to try and find somewhere in the next 30 minutes so I can take 45 minute break. However, we're in London. London doesn't like parking places, <laughs> especially for HGV. It's got to be a little bit of a tricky one, that's for sure. Is, that any, is he parked up there? Yeah, I think they might be waiting to get in that place though. Ah, oh, yeah, it's just no parking anywhere, is there? Um, hopefully, I can find a lay-by anyway just before I get onto the M1. Hopefully, hopefully that could that could do us. Okay, it's got quite a tight turn left. Luckily, the actual have left space for me, so that's good. Otherwise, I want to be able to do this. Nice big turn. Hopefully, I can make it to Todden Services anyway with the hour I've got. I'm hoping so, anyhow. I hope. I do hope. Otherwise, it's going to be an infringement stuck on the motorway. <laughs> Now this is where the chaos actually starts, isn't it? Driving through London, 10 to 4. 
in the afternoon. Stop battling those lunatics. Ideally, in my head I was thinking, when I'm making that delivery, I'd be able to park up somewhere using a like, little bit of land to take my break. Now, because I couldn't get access to where their site was and they had to get loaded on the road, that kind of went out the window. So I've got 27 minutes left now to try and find somewhere, like a lay-by of some sort, just to pull over, take me for a 45 minute break, and then drive for another hour. Maybe an hour and a half I got. I think I had about 30 minutes left on my drive time prior. The first 45 minute break. So hopefully I can get to Toddington anyway. But you know what London's like folks. Real busy and real unpredictable. So who knows where I'm going to end up tonight. Oh, oh, services. Two miles, get in there. Let's go. Two miles down the road, got the service station. Everything's good, got 12 minutes left of driving. They love it when the plan comes together. This is going to be the first time actually stopping on Faith. I come to think of it, I think it's the first time I've ever drove from London on the M1 at Junction 1. Right at the start. over here, take a break, see what it's about, if it's any good or not, and try and get to at least Todd and Services then on the way back. Oh god, it's like a bloody maze. Try and get out of this little section. I can imagine being right busy in here. Nice cheeky little sushi for a snack. Because I've been in since four o'clock this morning, all I've eaten today is a ham sandwich. And I'm coming up to 12 hours, or if not, watch what time's now? It's 20 past four, so 12 hours, 12 hours and 20 minutes I've been in so far. I'm absolutely starving. So, sushi, I've not had it for a while, but this does look nice, doesn't it? Look at that. Do, do, do. Right, the camera's picking up. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Lovely sushi. Bit of um, the green stuff, green paste. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> My mind has gone completely blank today. It really has. Soy sauce. And then, um, is that ginger? I think it is ginger, isn't it? So I've got some of that as well. So that's going to be my little snack. And then I'll have my tea in about an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Just like that, I've made it to Toddington Services at half past five. And I've got about... 40 minute drive time if I really wanted to, but there's no point pushing it because I've got a really good spot where I am. I'm parked here, the service station is just there. Since I've got an empty trailer, I'm gonna keep that door open and secured. So if anybody comes tampering at night, they can see I've got nothing, so they're not gonna slice the curtains just for the sake of it. Hopefully the wind's not gonna be too bad because I've got the door open, that might catch a bit of wind. And also, it's an open field over that way, so. Yeah, hopefully it's not too bad because it's nothing worse when you try and go to sleep and your cab's just rocking around. On that note, I am going to call it a day. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time. Rest of the evening for myself, treat myself to a Burger King, get my truck signed in, and then do some editing and watch a film. Why not? Enjoy yourself. Take care. Bye for now.